Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the little scrolling text you see up there. That is the current song that I'm playing via YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials on how to get the current playing song overlaid uh, on your live stream. But most of the tutorials uh, cover the Windows platform. So I just thought I'd show you guys how to do it on Linux for OBS. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there's a nice little scrolling thing up there which gives me the current song that I'm playing. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. It's not too involved like I thought it would be. Uh, all you really have to do is, um, I'm actually going to make sure I hide that text up there. There we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the GitHub page for Untamed Now Playing Next. Uh, I'm going to make sure to include a link to this page in the description, so make sure you go there to get the link to it. Uh, but yeah, basically um, what this is, is this is a browser plugin for Firefox and the way this plugin works is whenever you go to one of its many supported sites and start playing something back it'll take it'll extract the information from that site and place it in a text file on your computer and then you could tell OBS to read from that text file uh, so yeah the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come on here and we're gonna go to releases which in case you didn't see it's right here at the very top and you're gonna want to find the release that's tagged with the latest release. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and go down to downloads. You're going to want to select whichever one is for your platform. Uh, I'm using Linux, so we're going to click on this. And note that this plugin is currently only for Firefox. I don't know if there are any plans to add this to Chrome. Uh, so, you know, that sucks for all you uh, Chrome users out there. But yeah. So, you want to click on the XPI. You're going to get a pop up uh, that says. Firefox prevented this site, yada yada yada, from installing the software. You go ahead, you click allow, uh, like so. It downloads it. Then you just click install, and it installs the plugin. You can confirm the plugin is installed by going over here. You should have a little uh, music note in your little bar. So yeah, you just go ahead and click on that music note after the plugin is installed. And here's where you configure all your options for Untamed Now Playing. Uh, you have save to directory. This is what it sounds like. This is where you want the file to be saved to. Uh, so just put that to whatever. Uh, and then you put the file name to whatever. That's just what you want the file to be named, obviously. So just put that to whatever you want. Uh, you want the format to be plain text if you're using OBS. Uh, I know XSplit uses OBS and XML. But uh, yeah, because we're using OBS, we just want to do plain text. Uh, you can click on the little things over here on the right-hand side. There's sort of little, little tool tips, which will explain what each option, each option does. Uh, if you go into here, this is probably the most interesting option. You have play, uh, plain text, now playing format. Uh, basically, you have like little variables you can assign to it. If I go to site features and go to full list of variables, uh, you have variables here that you could put into that field. Uh, it has an example down here of what it does, uh, you know, so you can have it display artist title, you know, which is what I have it currently set to. Uh, one interesting thing it tells you, and this is a good tip, OBS users using the scroll option may need to add a few spaces to the end of this option to prevent the first and last word from merging. That's very important that you do that. Uh, when we actually go into OBS, I'm going to show you guys why that's so important. But basically, after you get... Uh, your formatting done here. Just add a bunch of spaces to the to the option here. Uh, and once again, once I get into OBS, I'm going to show you guys why to do that. You can also download all album artwork. This will actually take a picture of the album and put it in the uh, save to directory folder. So that way you can tell OBS to display that picture. So that way you can have the picture and the uh, song title. And it's a pretty interesting feature. Uh, you can clear the files automatically so that when you close a window uh, that was playing the music, uh, Untamed will just be like okay and just delete the the file because it assumes you're no longer using uh, playing music Excuse me You can also disable YouTube parsing which will disable it from reading YouTube videos So anyway, yeah, once you have all your options set uh, you have supported websites over here uh, It supports one thing it does support is Nightbot Pandora and a few other ones uh, Yeah, it's supporting Nightbot's pretty cool because that means you can go into your Nightbot dashboard here go under the audio DJ section and whatever music you're playing under the audio DJ section will actually be picked up by the plugin which is pretty cool um, so yeah anyway once you have all that configured you're gonna wanna actually start up some music so you can go ahead and go to YouTube I recommend if you uh, wanna have YouTube to play during your stream if you wanna have music to play during your stream 
uh, there's this nice little YouTube channel called Audio Library No Copyright Music, which is just a bunch of Creative Commons music that you can play for free on your stream. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and you have different playlists here for different movies. I'm just going to go ahead and click a random song. This will start to play some music. I have the music on mute so you guys don't have to hear it. Uh, but once that starts playing, uh, it should output the content. It should output the name or whatever you have the format set to to the text file. So we're just going to go ahead and go to where we have the text file saved. We're going to read it. As you can see, make that bigger. We have the artist and the name right there. So yeah, so we can confirm that it is working. Uh, and then you're going to want to go ahead and go into OBS here. What you're going to want to do next is add a source down here. And you're going to want to go to text, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it to the default. Uh, you can choose your own font. Uh, I recommend choosing a font that's unique uh, just so you know your stream stands out a little bit. Uh, but really, you could pick whatever you want. I'm just going to do just. Uh, we'll just go with the default sense there. If you can also strike out and underline it too if you want to do that. Uh, yeah, and then you're going to want to check this option that says read from file. You're going to want to select the file down here, browse, uh, and you're going to go to where the file is, song info, bagoosh, and there you go. You should now have the song title. Uh, and then, of course, you can assign it a color if you want. You have you can also do it through the HTML code here, uh, but yeah, you can just do this. You want it to be greenish. Oh, that looks really ugly. <laughs> I know. I remember teal and blue didn't actually look that bad. Yeah, see, that doesn't, that doesn't look too bad, but you can do something like that. You can give a color. You can outline it, drop a shadow, a word wrap, all that. Oh, but yeah, so yeah. So once you do that, oh, crap. I increased the size of it. But once you do that, once you, bleh, once you do that, there you go. The song title that is currently playing is now being displayed on your stream. Now, the issue uh, with this is that why this does work, if I were to change videos, for instance, um, getting recommended a lot of weird ass videos, uh, not relevant at all. Nice try though, YouTube, you tried, right? That's all that matters. If I just go to some random other video, let's go to the same one. <laughs> I think I did, uh, but let's just go to this one. If we just go to some random video, uh, you'll notice that the title kind of messes up if we see here the text is no longer like being displayed properly uh, that's because depending on uh, depending on the size of the title and all that it'll, it tends to like move the box uh, and resize it and all this and that it just really like creates a lot of issues so the way we can get around that is uh, you want to right click on it on the text uh, source uh, go to filters and then add a filter and you're going to want to add scroll uh, and when you have scroll selected you can limit the height and width uh, and this will basically make it to where you know it forces the text from the file to fit in whatever window size you give it so that way it doesn't resize the window and it doesn't pop up in different places uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and limit the height because so, you only want about one line showing unless you actually have it set to new line and all that just set to whatever you want really do this, uh, give a little bit of padded room. And then we could set the width of it. I'm gonna go ahead and set to about, I like about 700 to 1000, I think that looks nice. Uh, but yeah, you see, and that works, but it actually tends to cut off the text. So what we can then do is we can then adjust to horizontal scrolling, horizontal speed, and then it'll actually start to scroll the full title. And you could of course set it to fast, slow, reverse, whatever you wanna do really. Uh, I find 50 to be uh, a good good amount to use. You can also adjust vertical scrolling if you want it to scroll up, which eh, I'm not a big fan of, but you can do that if you want. Um, and if you see here, there's actually some padding here. That's the spaces we inserted from earlier. If we didn't have all those spaces, what would happen is this A would be really close to this Y and it'll sort of like, it just won't look right. So that's why earlier I said to put in uh, a bunch of spaces so that way you can pad it out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, once you do that, there you go. You now have the current song title scrolling on your stream. And yeah, it's a really neat feature to do. And of course, you know, you can add other objects around it. You could add a little border around it, a border around it if you wanted to. Uh, just do all, signs, all kinds of other interesting things. Uh, so yeah, anyway. 
That was me showing you guys how to get the current song overlaid on top of your OBS stream on Linux. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Check me out on Twitch. I'll have all the links down in the description so you can find me. Uh, thanks for watching.